We're here in the backwaters of the Yanko Creek and as you can see some of this area is of um, immense beauty and it has species uh, threatened, especially animals. It's got things like the Uricali which is a water rat that lives and thrives in this area and we've got some of our understory plants and wetland species and this is probably an example of what we could aspire to. It's probably one of the pick of the places that you'll find on the uh, Yanko Creek system and it's maybe an example for the central billabong a refreshing rivers project of what we want to see into the future. So here's one of your native understory species. It's actually rare across the system, but actually there's a few species uh, in this area. And it sort of gives you references to what we might want to do with the Central Billabong project. We could add the understory and the value that they provide. So this particular plant would be for your butterflies and your birds with the flowers and the seeds that it produces. And there's also other understory species and other wetland species that you might want to include in the project. And it's places like this that we can use as a reference to improve the rest of the creek system. So this place here is an example of a multi-generational farming family that care for the environment and care for agriculture. It just doesn't happen by itself. It actually happens because farmers take an interest in their environment and this is what we'd like to see across the whole of the Yanko Creek system and especially in the refreshing rivers central Billabong area.